If you invest $200 a week into this one stock, by the time you're ready to retire, you will have over $7 million bringing in $200,000 a year in dividends alone. Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Just the other day when I was driving down the highway, I looked to my right, and I see a bunch of heavy industrial vehicles, CAT, AKA Caterpillar. I take a left, head towards this other store, I see more heavy industrial vehicles, same company, CAT. Caterpillar. Then on my way home, I made a left, I made a right on every corner. I seen these heavy industrial vehicles, Caterpillar, that every company needs in order to build these big businesses, in order to throw up these skyscrapers, the cranes, the bulldozers, the tunker trucks. They was all made by the same company, Caterpillar. And as you guys know, I am a heavy believer of investing into companies that I use or invest into companies that I know that have been around for a very long time that has a very very good brand recognition. Now, Caterpillar has one of the highest brand recognitions out there. I was in between of looking at John Deere, JD, or Caterpillar, C-A-T. Now, I never really had to build anything big, so I never owned a Caterpillar, anything, and I don't need, and, and I never had a big lawn of anything so i never had to buy a john deere i wasn't a rancher or anything like that but i was always interested inside these two companies and caterpillar has really been catching my eye so when a company like that catches my eye i pull out my phone and i go to moomoo Moo. so i pulled out my phone i went to moomoo Moo, I, I typed in caterpillar right here c-a-t and just to do a little bit more research on them, I seen that they had a, a low over the last year of around $158 and a high of around $266. And at the time of the recording of this video, Caterpillar is around $236. I hit the analysis button. I scroll down. I see that this is a bullish buy signal. And if you scroll down a little bit more to the other analysis, you guys can see that they had a high price of $306, an average price of $254, and a low price of $190. Now, I know this is a company that I always wanted to own for a while. I would have really loved to pick them up at $190. I still would like to pick them up at $190, but if I could get them under $220-ish, $200 ten dollars i will probably start looking to sell put options on them underneath the 210 and ten dollar price range because i'm not saying that it's the price i would buy them at right now but i will start looking to sell puts to get them at a price that i want around the 190 dollar price point so i was running hey this company does pay dividends how safe are their dividends and should i add them to my companies of my top five dividend stocks that i should be invested to now in order for me to look at so this got me wondering how safe are their dividends by the way guys if you want to use moomoo i'm gonna leave a link down in the description if you sign up you get free stocks if you deposit 100 dollars by clicking my special link down in the description you get an additional two free stocks and guess what with those free stocks you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it or you could sell those two free stocks and withdraw all of your money guys it's really free money do not miss out on that opportunity i want to thank moomoo Moo for providing me that link for you guys to get extra free stocks um do not miss out on that opportunity so yes i've been using a uh, moomoo Moo to do my analysis over these companies so i do need to do a little bit more digging to see if i need to add caterpillar to my top five dividend watch list all right so i came over to seeking alpha and as you guys can see um caterpillar is up 27 percent on the year over the last five years they're up 46 percent and over the last 10 years they're up 158 percent that is the type of growth that i'm looking for in companies um long term wise right so while all the other companies in america are down 10 20 some companies are down 30 40 percent caterpillar found the way to be up 127 percent on the year while the rest of the um companies that's inside the sp 500 are pretty much down uh, 20 to 30 percent on the year now if you guys don't know what caterpillar is you could come to seeking alpha anytime and look it up caterpillar is a manufacturer and sells construction and mining equipment um diesel and natural gas engines and industrial gas turbines so everyone knows what caterpillar is it's the big yellowish orange tunker trucks right so i need to find out more about that dividend so i'm going to go to the dividend sector right here you can see that they had a dividend growth over the last 29 years they increased their dividend percentage every single year for the last 29 years they pay out their dividends quarterly and they have a two percent dividend yield that is perfect for what i'm looking for anything over 1.99 percent is perfect just for me they have a two percent dividend yield so you'll be earning around four dollars and 80 cents for every share that you earn of caterpillar if we come right here and look at their dividend history 
actually let's look at that dividend safety score they have a dividend safety score of, of a b that means they are not at risk of cutting their dividends any dividend um, safety score of, from a b to a b plus to an a all the way up is pretty safe for me now if it had a b minus to a c that is something i'll stay away from but right now they're giving it a dividend safety score of a b now what got me to add caterpillar to my top five stocks is when when i came right here to the top stocks and i came down on seeking alpha to the top rated dividend stocks and i click this button right here you can see that cat caterpillar was in the top five now you guys might not have access to um their top five stocks now you guys might not have access to seeking alpha top five stocks i believe that you have might have to be a premium member if you do want to become a premium member i'm gonna leave a link down in the pinned comment section i'm gonna leave a link down in the description i think they have a special going on right now for just 99 dollars for the entire year to become a premium member with that you get the dividend safety scores you get that access to the top stocks and most importantly you get access to all of their analysis and their data and their articles which is pretty superb to help me become a better investor they have top tier article writers on here they have top tier uh, data analysis on here they have top tier data information on here which is why i use seeking alpha premium um amazing platform if you guys want to check that out that link is going to be down in the description right now they're having a sale if you want to check that out so here we go on caterpillar when you look at that quant dividend stock scores most of them are green now the trifectas when they're all um green right here and one of them is not green that's exxon mobile when you look at the seeking alpha analysis when you look at the wall street analysis these are the trifectas that i'm looking for they're pretty much spot on most of the times um information from them i trust but there we go caterpillar is in the top five so we're going to look at the other four we already showed you caterpillar and how they're performing so let's look at the top fives that seeking alpha is saying that you should be um, buying right now the top one right here is mpc marathon petroleum pretty sure they're a petroleum company they're up 67 percent on the year again while the rest of the industry down you can read that descriptions right here they're marathon petroleum they operate as a downstream energy company primarily in the united states we take a look at their dividends you guys can see that they don't have a long growth rate but they do have a dividend yield of 2.4 percent making you three dollars for every share that you own if you look at their dividend history they might not increase their dividends every year but they pay out their dividends every year so you know that you're going to have a consistent payment from mpc the next one that we're going to be looking at is exxon mobile you guys probably already know exxon mobile oil and gas company once again dividends they increase their dividends every single year for the last 20 years they have a 3.29 percent dividend yield and they pay out every single quarter exxon mobile is number two on seeking alpha list if we take a look at number three uh spirit really the income is probably a uh real estate REIT if we scroll down you guys can see that um, they invested to single tenants and other real estate assets um subject to long-term leases if we take a look at their dividends they have a dividend growth of two percent they have a 6.2 percent dividend yield this is very interesting to me um drawing my attention if we look at the dividend history once again they don't really raise their dividends but they do pay out their dividends consistently and they just recently raised their dividends from around 64 cents per share to 66 per share let's take a look at number four valero once again this is another um oil and gas industry dealing um oil and gas industry with petroleum inside the united states um they're up 58 percent over the last five years 43 percent last 10 years up 211 percent we take a look at their growth they have not increased their dividend growth over the last couple of years but they do have a dividend yield of 3%. Um, looking at the dividend history, they don't really cut their dividends. They increase their dividends slowly over time, but they do consistently pay out their dividends. They just had a recent increase from 98 cents to around a dollar and two cents per share for every share that you own of Valero. But if we do look at their dividend safety score, they have a dividend safety score of an A. That means they are not at risk of cutting their dividends. So even though they might not increase their dividends every single year, you are going to get that consistent payment now some of these companies that if you invest into for the last let's say 30 years that's how long a human usually works if you invest 200 dollars into them every single week for the last 30 years then you could be making two hundred 
thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars in dividends every single year from investing into some of these companies. So if we go to back test our portfolio and let's just do the last 30 years from 1993 to 2003. Let's say we start off with a thousand dollars and we invested two hundred dollars every single week. That is eight hundred dollars a month right here. And we're going to reinvest our dividends. So the top three stocks have been around for the last 30 years would be Valero um cat and exxon mobile now these have definitely been around for the last 30 years we're going to do 100 percent into each one of these and hit analyze portfolio if we scroll down you guys can see that we will have <laughs> seven million dollars in valero if we, if you retired if you've been investing to them for the last 30 years you have seven million dollars 4.4 million dollars into cat and 1.9 million dollars into exxon mobile if we scroll all the way down to your income you guys can see that right there with x with valero you could be bringing in two hundred and ten thousand dollars in dividends every single year just from investing $200 into them every week, $60,000 from CAT, and $56,000 from ExxonMobil. That is enough to retire just in dividends, including that you're gonna have a $4.4 million portfolio. That is enough to retire and live a very comfortable life for the rest of your life after 30 years. So if you started working when you was 20, invest for the next 30 years at 50 you could retire a multi-millionaire now the other companies haven't been a, has not been around as long so let's put those in right quick let's type in mpc and let's type in src all right hit analyze portfolio now these company has has been around since 2013 so around 10 years or so investing 200 dollars a week you'll have a 328 thousand dollar portfolio and a 152 thousand dollar portfolio if we scroll down you guys over the last 10 years well nine years you'll have a six thousand dollar income and an eight thousand dollar income from your dividends alone and there we go guys that's the top five stocks that seeking alpha provided us that we could be taking a look at to add to our watch list right now caterpillar is definitely on my watch list i have an alert set up on mumu so once it hits my alert i'm gonna go in i'm gonna sell some options on those for me to be able to pick up caterpillar at an amazing price because this is a long-term company i'm going to be patient and wait for them to fall to a price i'm comfortable buying them at um let me know down in the comment section are the other four stocks that we talked about in this video inside of your portfolio if they are let me know how have they been performing well obviously over the last year they've been performing well since the rest of the industry is down and those five companies are actually up on the year so i know if you have been investing into them that they have been doing pretty well inside of your portfolio but let me know if you're going to continue to dollar cost average and buy them at the price point that they are at right now but yeah guys if you do want to pick up some free stocks i'm going to leave the link down to moomoo down in the description down below and if you guys do want to have access to all of seeking alpha information i'm going to leave a link to them down below as well do not miss out on moomoo free stocks uh, opportunity that they have going on as well but other than that guys i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace